What's going on everyone? It's Justin here. And as you know, I use Notion on a daily basis to run my business. From all of the different video pipelines to video ideas, campaigns, and deadlines, I have every single aspect of the daily operations and the content schedule built out on Notion. And this started out over five years ago, sitting down for multiple days, manually building everything from scratch, which was actually very helpful in learning the whole Notion platform. But of course, with any sort of technology and especially with the rise of AI, it has gotten so much smarter. So today we're talking about Notion AI Agent, which is probably one of the most breakthrough updates to Notion since the introduction of both AI and formulas. And it essentially gives you an end-to-end -end experience of having the AI agent be able to create an entire database, organize your information, and actually optimize all of the things that you have within Notion, no matter what it is, completely without you having to do anything aside from some prompts. As always, in a lot of these software and AI videos, I'm gonna be giving away a Mac Mini to one of you guys. So if you wanna enter, just make sure you leave a comment down below with your Instagram username so someone from my team can contact you if you want. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you would use Notion AI Agent for. And I also wanna give a huge thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. So the difference between artificial intelligence and an AI agent is actually pretty big, but there are many similarities as well. AI allows you to search, compute, research, and it is very useful as well for generative tasks such as writing, for example. But AI agent is like an advanced form that is able to autonomously perform tasks by perceiving the environment, making decisions, and also achieve goals with minimum human interaction. And honestly, it has been a game changer when it comes and not only giving prompts, but also allowing the agent to physically create something for you without actually having to intervene in any way, shape, or form, aside from maybe certain revisions or changes after the fact. You can choose how much you want it to intervene or just make minor adjustments. It's really up to you and how you wanna use Notion AI Agent to your advantage. Of course, with traditional AI tools in my field of work as well, it has been good for generating emails, requests, also have it find contacts and PR emails from certain companies. And all of this has been done within Notion, and it also builds upon some of the tools that were introduced in, I believe, the last year or so, which include Notion Calendar and Notion Mail, which is able to sync everything all in one place. I was already someone who used Notion on a daily basis just when it comes to having a database to track all of my videos. But with all of these AI tools, a lot of which that I use on a daily basis that have been integrated in, it takes the power of Notion and the power of modern day AI tools that are constantly improving and gives you access to all of them in the best way possible. It is also really useful to take a whole bunch of data and aggregate it and organize it within your database as well. So say I have AI agent create this page for me, but in my Apple notes, I might already have a bunch of different ideas that I was writing down while just walking around, a whole bunch of brand ideas, a whole bunch of project ideas. Now I'm able to just go in to the AI agent, paste it in and it will organize it categorically as to where it thinks it works best. And again, you can always improve it correct it, edit it very easily, and it is still a huge time saver. From a work standpoint as well though, Notion AI Agent is also really good at aggregating things. So customer feedback, email lists, sort and categorization, create a project Kickstarter that has tasks assigned different people based on their department, and also like administrative tasks such as auditing your knowledge base or just transforming meeting notes. Those are all just some ideas of the millions of ways you can use an AI agent. So I recently purchased a new house and traditionally in the past, I would have like a notes app with a whole bunch of ideas that I might have and just try to keep track of the process of a renovation very manually. But now we're gonna use the Notion AI agent to bring that all together. And it's able to act essentially as a full-fledged project manager that is able to pull everything into one workspace to keep the plan nice and updated. And this includes building rooms, vendors, budget, inspo, purchases, compile quotes and compare specs, draft weekly computer updates from boards and all that, track orders and warranties, generate a shopping list, and all of that under one database. So let's show you what it is able to do. Okay, so now I've explained the entire plan to Notion AI Agent. Let's just hit enter and it will design me a brand new database. 
So for summary, this is my basement renovation project in my new home where we're going to be filming our videos in the future. And with that, it requires taking everything down, checking with all the different parties, and we're working on a very slim timeline to move out of our current office and have the operation over there. From floors, to paint, to the trims, to hardware. I also like to keep track of the Gantt chart and have like everything in line that gives me an indication of where the actual project process is at. And to some degree, I have seen traditional drawings from contractors of how things should work, as well as my experience in business school, learning about like Gantt charts and different types of processes, while also wanting to keep it relatively consumer simplified that I can allow myself and Notion AI agent to completely keep track of everything. So I can see all these features here from the customized basement renovation project to category, status, end date, delivered, quantity, partner collect, notes, all this kind of stuff. And then has like the timeline, it has the items, uh, status, which actually is very similar to what I do for my own videos, start and end date, uh, materials, budget tracker. So from there, we are also going to take a look at the shopping list, the partnerships, and you can see here is my basement renovation project. It has actually laid out everything in different tabs. So I'm going to ask the AI agent, um, instead of using tabs, have everything on one page. It will now take all of these different sections and have it more in a linear way that I'm personally more used to. What I really like is that it actually shows all of the processes and the train of thought. And what I've really enjoyed with using the AI and AI agent is how it has been very easy to access information and use general tasks. But with the AI agent, it can also make those actionable changes, which in essence is what makes the agent aspect so crucial. Um, so here you can see, instead of using tabs, um, have everything on one page. And as you can see, it has everything laid out in a linear form after I gave it the prompt. And you can see that AI agent was able to put it all in an organized form and I'm able to go through and check things off. In addition to that, I also have my accounting stuff of how much the renovation has costed so far, different categories if I want to go to that amount of detail. And I can also have this sum displayed on the bottom. And overarchingly, I have the Gantt chart at the top that visually displays where each part of the project is as we move from different phases. So this is how the Notion AI agent was able to create an entire deck from scratch for my project management of a home renovation project. And I think this is really useful for all different types of businesses and for someone who's just looking to do a project or organize their life, but maybe doesn't know where to start and wants something very specific and customized and knows how to explain it, but maybe doesn't wanna go through that manual process. It is all at your fingertips. The next use though is how it is able to transform an existing template that I already have. So for example, this right here is how I track all of my video projects. On the top, I have a visual and colored chart that has a board of different statuses of videos. Below that I have the sponsored, it shows the different type of content, the status of that as well, the budget just to allow you to track everything as a business and below that, I also have like different administrative things um, that a creator would have, but this was a deck that I had created probably five or six years ago, um, but I wanna modernize it in some ways. So first I'm gonna start out with a question in this case, asking what are some ways that this database can be modernized and synced? Um, some of the things that I may have done in the beginning didn't really tie as well together. There might be um, a certain section that is adjusted on the sponsors tab, but it doesn't adjust on the actual YouTube videos progress. So that is some of the things that I'm thinking, but you can see it's given me a whole bunch of different suggestions and thoughts. And from there, it proposes what the AI agent is actually able to do. And then I can try it and see if it works. So as you can see, it made some suggestions to the sponsored tab, for example, PO number, invoice number, invoice date, net terms, payment due. That is something that I never really had before. I just manually tracked it. And so these were great suggestions. And as you can see, my database is all updated now. And yeah, it's a lot better. It also started applying a modernization plan and explained to me how it works. Um, it cleaned up legacy relations, added single two-way videos relation, creative fields, and I think those relations are really important and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to have the YouTube videos and the sponsored tab tied together, linked, and operative. So whenever I change the status of something, um, you can see, it now links on the top as well. 
Another example of optimizing one of my decks here is I have a whole travel list and I kind of just put everything here very randomly, um, but I'm going to have it sort by country. So let's just start a new prompt here. Please sort this database into, let's say continents. And I'm also gonna have it like create a chart to show me what percentage of trips I take are to a specific region or country just for my own knowledge. So in this prompt, I've asked, please split this database based on location in two respective continents and also create a chart or graph that splits up trips to each continent by percentage. And you can see up on the top here is where everything has been divided. So you can see I've asked it to pull the information from the specific field. And sometimes you have to be more specific with that to ensure that the data is being pulled from the right places. And in some cases here, you can see that I might have a city written out and other ones I have the country. It doesn't really make much sense. So the fact that it was able to detect that and as you can see, it has Asia, North America, and everything all listed right here, shows that it is actually working quite well. Um, and now I'm going to go in to the Trips by Continent tab, and that gives me a pretty interesting data point that shows that 50% of my trips were in North America, about 36.7% of them were in Europe, just about 10% of it was in Asia. I know the year after that, I had many more Asia trips. So this is an example of taking a simple database and giving you many more different points through the AI agent and just being able to have more useful information that has just been created in a couple minutes. Another example here is just a bunch of short form video ideas that we had a couple years ago. We haven't touched this page in a while definitely needed a bit of cleanup. So you could see this was where I just like brain dumped a bunch of ideas, had them all in one place, and I'm having some suggestions um, created for me right here. And there you have it. You can see these charts are now a combination of what I had before, as well as different formats that allow me to maybe follow along what I want to actually work on a little bit easier than just having a gigantic list. The other few examples I'm gonna show you are once again, an old document that I might've created or had created, and maybe it just wasn't as useful based on the format and the amount of information and everything is there, but it just isn't sorted out exactly the way that I would like. And so when the marketing and PR specialist moved on to another job, I had her create a database for like the last two weeks. And all of this includes a different guide of like how we work, how we send emails, what the daily tasks are and all these different things. And all of these responsibilities and everything are really good, but I'm going to actually have a more optimized version of this created that is more in line with what maybe somebody I'm hiring would be able to follow along. So this is like a larger scale thing. You can see there is a whole bunch of pages, all of which are also loaded with information that kind of need to be organized. And this, even a little while ago, was a very manual process. And take a look at this. It has very quickly been able to sort everything out very beautifully. And it is like completely different to what was there before. And it's pulled all of the information out of the individual pages and put it exactly the way that I would like right here. And even within all of the individual pages, it went in there, optimized everything, got rid of the original version. And in just a few seconds, as an employer, I can send this off and it is much easier to follow than before. So this has overall been a look of how I've used AI Agent to create both new decks as well as optimize existing ones. And I feel like the combination of both is impressive already, but it's just going to keep getting better, just like anything with AI. Previously, I was already using some simple generative tools, maybe some ideation processes within AI for video titles, as well as wording and shortening, rewriting, and of course for research, which I feel like is the most common use of AI, but being able to take advantage of AI agents to do things a lot quicker than before and take a certain set of raw data and kind of churn it out in many different ways that make it more useful, essentially just gives you a more productive business. And at the end of the day, saves you time, which is something that everyone wants. And if you guys wanna go ahead and check out the template that I made for project management, I'm gonna drop a link to that down below. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check out Notion AI Agent for yourself and try it out, I'm gonna drop a link down below and I'll see you all in the next video.